Royval Combat Support Helicopter is one of the most advanced weapon systems created by the South African defense industry. It was specifically designed to handle the hot, humid, and dusty conditions in Southern Africa. The design was based on experiences from the South African border war and is built to perform well in high-intensity conventional warfare. The first Ruivalk helicopter was delivered to the South African Air Force on May 7, 1998. Over time, it was upgraded in stages from 1A to the current 1F, known as the MK-1 baseline. In April 2011, the South African Air Force received six fully operational and military certified Ruivalk MK-1 helicopters. These MK-1 helicopters had more than 100 upgrades including capability to fire the Mokopa ATGM and increased reliability of main cannon. Additionally, fuel drop tanks were added which were crucial for self-deployment to the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The remaining five helicopters entered service by March 2013. The Ruivalk was designed for roles like deep strikes, air defense, suppression, and reconnaissance. Its key design principles were avoiding detection, avoiding hits if seen, sustaining flight if hit, and ensuring pilot survival in a crash. The Ruivalk is built to withstand significant damage. Its structure and systems can endure 23 mm high explosive rounds and keep operating for at least 30 minutes after taking a direct hit from a 12.7 mm armor piercing round. The self sealing fuel tanks can also survive a direct hit without exploding. The aircrew stations are armored against 12.7 mm rounds and the seats are crash worthy, reducing the risk of injury to the crew in a crash. The Ruivalk is equipped with a helicopter electronic warfare self protection suite that includes SAB's integrated defensive aid suite. This system offers laser warning, missile approach warning, and full multi-spectral radar detection. It also allows for in-flight configuration to counter known threats. The laser warning system detects and displays laser threats by covering a broad range of laser frequencies and plotting their bearing and range. The helicopter's airframe is 16.3 meters long from the nose to the rear wheel. 5.1 meters tall from the ground to the rotor head fairing and 6.9 meters wide from one side of the stub wings to the other. Its main rotor has a diameter of 15.5 meters, expanding to 18.7 meters when rotating. Tail rotor is 3.5 meters wide. The Ruivalk has a fixed landing gear design with two forward wheels on the front section of the airframe and a tail wheel. The Royvok has three internal fuel tanks located in the middle of the airframe under the center section of the stub wings. Each tank can hold 480 kilograms of Jet A1 fuel. The Royvok has a ferry range of over 1,000 kilometers and a combat radius of 740 kilometers with reserve fuel. The Royvok is one of the top helicopters in terms of cruise speed, operational range, rate of climb, weapons loadout, and power to weight ratio. The helicopter is powered by two Makila 1K2 turboshaft engines, each producing 1845 horsepower. It has a cruising speed of 278 kilometers per hour and a top speed of 309 kilometers per hour. It can fly sideways at 92 kilometers per hour. At sea level, it can climb at a rate of 670 meters per minute with a maximum hovering ceiling of 5045 meters and a service ceiling of 6095 meters. The Ruivalk MK-1 features a GI-2 20mm cannon, like the one on the Rattel 20 infantry combat vehicle, with a new chin mount that has hydraulic elevation and azimuth control. The GI-2 cannon fires at a rate of 720 to 740 rounds per minute. The cannon has two modes of operation, quick reaction and accurate mode. Quick reaction uses the helmet-mounted sight to quickly aim the cannon at a target, while accurate mode relies on the nose-mounted sight for precise targeting. The cannon rounds are stored in two sponsons on either side of the forward fuselage and are fed into the cannon through a dual feed system from within the turret shroud. The main ammunition used includes HS-820 high explosive incendiary and armor piercing core tracer. The high explosive rounds are effective up to two kilometers, while the armor piercing rounds are effective up to one kilometer. The Royvalk MK-1's weapons complement differs significantly from the advanced development model. Although the stub wings still have three weapon pylons, the wingtip pylon has been relocated under the wing. The Royvalk, armed with the M159 rocket launcher pod, carries 19 unguided folding fin 70mm aerial rockets. 
The FZ rocket can carry various warheads including high explosive general purpose, inert practice, flash signature, and high explosive armor piercing. Recently the Royvolk MK1 also test fired the FZ laser guided rocket variant, enhancing accuracy to less than 1 meter for targets at 4 to 5 kilometers. The ZT-35 missile, initially designed for the Rattel ICV and successfully integrated into the Royvolk advanced development model, was considered too slow for aircraft use. It took 25 seconds to reach 4 kilometers, which left the Royvolk vulnerable to enemy air defenses. Studies indicated that exposures longer than 10 seconds significantly reduce helicopter survivability. As a result, the ZT-35 missile has been replaced by the state-of-the-art long-range precision-guided ZT-6 Makopa, also known as Black Mamba. The Makopa can be fired using traditional direct lock-on before launch or lock-on after launch methods. The Makopa missile utilizes semi-active laser guidance and features a modular design capable of carrying penetration, fragmentation, or anti-armor warheads. The missile utilizes a solid fuel composite rocket motor with a slow burning rate, enabling it to engage targets up to 10 kilometers away. For air-to-air -air engagements, the Royvolk MK1 can be equipped with fully digital Mistral heat-seeking missiles. The Mistral missiles have a maximum speed of Mach 2.6, have a range of 6.5 kilometers, and are equipped with a 3 kilograms warhead. 